What's up everybody, Tendo here. And as you see here in front of me, I have a large stack of video games and you know what that means. It means that I've been thrift shopping. So, we're gonna go to the thrift store today. We're gonna look around at everything that was there and we're gonna buy some stuff and then we will come back here as usual and talk about everything that I got. But, I want to throw out a little disclaimer about today's episode. I actually bought all this a few weeks ago. Patrick and I left for the holidays and shot some videos on the road. Go back and watch those if you haven't. They're just a few days ago, back to a week ago. And uh, it was a good time. We had a blast. But this was the stack of games sitting on my desk, waiting for me to film an episode before we left. It didn't happen. It got set aside. So now I'm sitting here going, I don't remember some of this stuff, but we're going to try to get through it. Uh, there's some peculiar stuff in here. So definitely stick around for it. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Normally when I make these episodes, I go out and shoot them and I come right back and edit them and it's all pretty fresh. But this was weeks and weeks ago, so I'm about to go on this adventure with you guys. I have almost no memory of what I found, but right off the bat, look at this lockbox. Maybe I didn't find so much. There wasn't really anything in there I didn't already have. And then going over to the shelves here, I'm not expecting to find much more because this is a Goodwill that almost exclusively puts video games in their lockbox. So if the games show up on the shelves, then that means that uh, they've in some ways failed. They don't really want that to happen. There is a Jimmy Neutron game I don't have that I'm a bit interested in. Kind of bummed that it didn't have its manual, but I'm going to get it anyways. And then pretty much the rest of this stuff that I'm finding... I either knew I already had or like these Hot Wheel games. I had to check my checklist to see, but I did end up having those Hot Wheel games, I believe. But that Snowmobile game, I believe I didn't have. Jeep game, Ben 10. There's so many Ben 10 games. It's kind of gotten ridiculous. I just thought maybe there were three or four, but turns out there's just a ton and there's different ones on different systems. And I just, it's been hard keeping up with games like Ben 10 and some other cartoon related games like SpongeBob because there's just so many Spongebob games. But I'm going to leave here with a few games. Let's move on to the next stop of the day, another Goodwill. If you were to go back and watch some episodes where I went to this Goodwill last, you would find that this Goodwill's been under construction. This was actually the first time I'd been to it since they'd finished the construction out on the front of the building. It looks nice. It looks nice and new. And their game section is looking a little bit better than the previous Goodwill. I'm seeing some GameCube sports games that I'm going to have to check and see if I don't already have, but otherwise I'm not seeing a lot I don't have. And then after looking through what was supposed to be the game section, I'm just kind of checking the rest of the DVD section to make sure there's no other games. There was a Sonic DVD, which is pretty cool. And then this Hitman 2 game, I had to check if I had it. I believe I had it, but maybe for another system. And then this GameCube game, Blowout, I was very happy to find that. Second time today, I'm bummed to find a game I really wanted that didn't have its manual, but I'm going to buy it anyways. And then a GameCube baseball game that I didn't have. So let's pick that up. More GameCube stuff. Now let's move on to the last stop of the day. My favorite store in the world, Zia Record Exchange. Now, there's a deal going on right now for games that are under $5 that are for handhelds. The games are all three for ten dollars so i'm going to leave with at least two stacks and i'm going to start out looking through the psp games there's a lot of neat stuff in here that i would have loved to have had but the only stuff i could find in here that i didn't already have was puzzle stuff at least the stuff that was under five bucks so i'm going to grab a couple of puzzle games out of here and then i'm going to keep moving checking the handheld stuff this isn't really part of the deal but this is where i've gotten some of my good stuff like my wavebird controller for my gamecube i got hanging right there on that rack and it was like 12 bucks that kind of crazy stuff happens here and that's why i love this store this is a lock box where their higher end cartridges go and there's just nothing in here for five dollars and below so not really worth looking at for today's deal there was some tucked underneath the shelf cartridge stuff down here this stuff was all bottom dollar and i got really excited when i found a box full of game gear games if you've only been watching the channel for the last month or two, I've not bought a lot of Game Gear stuff, but if you go back to my earlier game hunting videos, it seems like it's all I bought sometimes. But pretty much everything Game Gear in this box I already had. There's not really one cartridge I didn't have, so no Game Gear luck today. And here's a brand new lockbox in this store. This has not been there very long. It's just got like the highest end of the highest end stuff in it. 
and they've kind of moved everything around recently and so i'm over here looking at this stuff and i've never seen one of these return of the jedi quiz whiz i guess it's just for one of those tiger specific things with its own cartridges you know you know the tiger stuff but that's all the stops for today so let's head back to the game room and talk about everything that i got all right guys we are back and i'm gonna jump right into all this stuff that i bought the first one is probably the weirdest one harvest moon for the gamecube harvest moon a wonderful life and this was really funny because I did not buy this uh, in the normal parameters of this episode. What happened was I went to a Goodwill uh, several, several episodes ago and I missed this. It was sitting there on the shelf. And I have the worst luck with GameCube games because here in Phoenix, they wrapped stickers right here in the same spot on every single game. Uh, you, like, look right here. You see it on all the games. And so, of course, on... The GameCube that covers up the logo, and I just miss it so much. Uh, matter of fact, I have Hannah double check the games for me all the time, and she finds the GameCube games I miss because she's just better at it than I am. But someone in the video in the comment section on YouTube said, Hey, you missed that game, and I went back immediately, and it was still there, thankfully, because uh, uh, it's not the rarest game of the world, but it's worth a few bucks, and uh, I'm definitely glad to have it because I love me some GameCube. But that was that, was that and then. Uh, Let's go through these regular games first, and then we'll go through this handheld stuff. Uh, Batman 2, DC Super Heroes, Lego game. Very nice. Hitman 2. Uh, it's a little bit gummed up, but I only paid a couple bucks for it, so no biggie. All-Star Baseball 2003, featuring Derek Jeter. And then FIFA Soccer 2002. Monster Jam. I was pretty happy about this one. Another GameCube game. Not mad about that. Blowout. If I go through any of these games and you guys have any fond memories of them, definitely let me know in the comments below why I should play them, and I just might. This game belonged to a guy named Grant. He wrote his name on it, and Silver Sharpie, G-Force. Very nice. A very generic Jeep Thrills game. Cool. Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. And then Fashion Party by Imagine. Now... Why is there significance to this? Because they're the game developer that made uh, one of the worst video games I've ever played. What was it called, Patrick? Uh, Baby Party? Baby. Party Babies. Yeah. With a Z. Uh, we have a video several weeks back where we play... It's a series where we play bad video games. We played a game by these guys and it was bad, which means we probably need to play this one. Doesn't that look great? Does that look like something you'd be into, Pat? Maybe. <laughs> probably win it. Comment below, should we uh, should we play that on our bad video game series? Here's one that looks good. Kids Playground, Dinosaurs, Shapes and Colors. That looks wholesome, doesn't it? Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius for the PlayStation 2. Fantavision, I don't know anything about that game. It looks very, very interesting. And then HSX, Hypersonic Extreme. Some sort of rip-off Star Wars racing game. It looks like pod racers, but not really. Uh, I don't know. It might be good, though. looks interesting. Next up, I went to Zia on today's episode, and uh, they had a deal going on where you bought two handheld games and got the third free. So I bought two PSP games and got a third free, two Game Boy Advance games, got the third free. And so I got all this pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, I got all of this for like 18 19 bucks. Let's run through all of it. Uh, I don't know if I've played any of this stuff, but... I'm not really sure if any of it looks terribly interesting, but I am glad to have it because I don't have much Game Boy stuff and I am super obsessive about collecting PSP stuff. So, March of the Penguins, Game Boy Advance. And these are not factory seals. These are their seals they have at Zia's. So I'll be taking that plastic off and putting these in protectors. Like, where's my Game Boy games? I've lost them. Hello? What? Oh, they're down here. I just recently <laughs> rearranged this whole game room. So there's my plastic protectors on a Crash Bandicoot game. Uh, yeah, I'll be putting them inside of those. And then next up is Volcano Island, Nickelodeon game. I actually have this game on other platforms, Battle for Volcano Island. So I'm curious what this will be like. Is that Danny Phantom? I don't know, is it? I'm not familiar with that one. Looks like it. It's Spongebob. Yeah, well, it's definitely Spongebob and the Fairly Odd Parents, dude. Well, and the Fairly Odd Parents. Bunch of Nickelodeon characters. Cool. And then Big Mother Truckers. I also have this on other platforms, but not on Game Boy, so we'll see how that goes. 
Three PSP games. We'll start with this game is just called Exit. I think it's some sort of puzzle game, but it looks like there's also maybe a little platforming there. So platformer puzzle game, and then Cars for the PSP. It's also a Greatest Hits edition. I feel like I have this on 30 different consoles. And then SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs Fire Team Bravo 2. That is a mouthful. Say that three times real fast. Very nice. So there is a stack of games. A stack of games I'm very happy about, especially that GameCube stuff. Lots of GameCube stuff today. That's GameCube. There's one more. Blowout. So I was going to say, comment below, let me know what your favorite thing that I got today was. I don't know. Probably this, this half of the stack, favorite. This half of the stack, not favorite, but still good. That's what I'm going to say. Handheld stuff and GameCube stuff, my two greatest loves. I'm very happy about today's haul. So you comment below, tell me what your favorite thing was that I got today. Maybe comment below, let me know what your least favorite thing was. Was there anything bad here? That's not bad. That's probably the greatest game ever. Also, before you go, guys, go over to the merch store. And check out our merch, Tendo That is hard to say. Tendostore.com. Maybe also join our Discord. It's a good time over on our Discord. We're always chatting about video games. What else could you do? I mean, I've got we've got a little bit of everything for everyone here. Go follow us on Twitch, where we stream video games all the time. Uh, link below for that. Also, link below for the Discord. What else can What else can we get out of these people, Patrick? What else do they have to do? Instagram. Instagram. Go follow us on Instagram. Uh, username here, Twitter. It's all below the videos. So if you want to follow us on other platforms, just scroll down beneath the video. There's all kinds of ways in which we can keep you entertained. Come hang out with us on some of those other platforms. And also before you go, guys, here on YouTube, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Every sub counts. We're getting closer and closer to a thousand every day. That's why I keep begging. I just want to get to a thousand. I'll I'll still beg after a thousand, but not so much, because a thousand's where it's at. A thousand is where you actually get to become an official YouTuber. Like it becomes real, you know? It's like it's a real thing, and I'm excited to get there. Also, if you are subscribed, or if you do subscribe, hit that bell notification, ring it, ring the bell, ring the bell, a little shark. That way you'll get a notification whenever we post a video in the future. And then you can come back at that point and you can hang out with us then. And until then guys, peace out.